Hey everybody, this is Daniel with Howard Hanna. How are you doing today? Let's take a look at 3855 South Sheldon Road in Canton. We have no idea when it was built. Who knows how many square foot? There's like 10 toilets, which is good. And then it's like $10 or best offer. So let me know. All right, so here's the parking lot. This is where you put cars. It's an important place to, um, to have so that people can actually come into the building. Um, we can take a look at these lights. They're pretty good, except there's some dark patches. Um, it's nighttime, what do you expect? And then so there's some footsteps that you need to take in order to get in the church and you need to take some big vertical footsteps to get up on those slabs. So if we take a look on the inside, let's go ahead and fly in. There aren't any doors, but that's okay. You can go to Home Depot. It's relatively cheap to get doors. Um, so that there's, there's some lights from the ceiling, which is nice in order to see. Um, you need light. Um, you need the light of the world too. You can get that here. That's always good to have. Pro probably like the best thing to have, pretty sure. Okay, so we're gonna come into the chapel. There's minus points because there's no cross in the back, uh, but that's okay. You can make one of those yourself out of just uh, home supplies and do a DIY, DIY, DIY project. The piano's looking pretty rough, um, but that's okay. It's just you need to buff out those scratches. And it was made of wool, so that's not great either. That's where we keep the armor. It's good to have for defense um, when we have intruders in this building. Um, there's a, a, a huddle hole in there. It's good, except there's no air that you can get and no windows. Uh, so that's where we keep the prisoners. All right, so uh, there's the coffee place and the jukebox, which is actually just a brown box. So if we walk in here, this is a good place for office stuff, except those two doors are really close together and who designed it that way anyhow. So if we look at the cubicles, there's an iron helmet, which is good. You're not supposed to take anybody's stuff here or ever because stealing's wrong and Jesus said not to. So uh, we take a look at this spider painting. It's pretty good, except it's not Halloween and this is a church. So there's a big iron door. We can go ahead and open that. Not sure why we bought that because it's pretty expensive. Uh, we can go in here and look at the toilets, which is good. Um, toilets are something you need. We're gonna go in the women's room, but not very long because that's not right. So let's keep going down this way and uh, go into this room here. There's some railroad tracks, which are always nice to have, just in case you have a locomotive that you need to get from one place to another. Um, and then if we move in here, we've got some wool on the ground. This wool is sweet because it's like warm in the winter and it comes from sheep. And so anything that comes from sheep uh, are good and it's good to be a sheep. And if you're not a sheep and following God, then you need to know what's up. So let's keep flying down here um, and move on in here. So we've got some long benches and some more iron doors. Uh, those are pretty heavy, so I wouldn't recommend trying to open them. So if we go in this treasure chest room, we can see that um, there's some big beds here. This is where, again, the prisoners sleep. That's always good to have for them, because if they didn't have a place to sleep, then um, they'd be tired. So there's some paintings on the wall. Let's go ahead and move in and see what's going on here. We've got some cobwebs that need some cleaning up. Um, that can be done pretty easily. The maid, um, the maid service doesn't cost that much. So if we look back at the bar, there's no alcohol because who needs alcohol? It's gross and doesn't taste good anyway. So um, we've got a four square court. That's always nice. We have a yellow box, or sorry, <laughs> a red box. That's good for ha um, when you need squares. And then so there's some books on the table. Um, they should be the holy book. And if they're not the good book, then, uh, then you need to go get one and read it. And you should start with John um, because it's the best chapter. And actually, it's the only chapter that you need to read. Actually, you should probably read the other 65. Okay, so um, there's some lamps on the wall. That's good if you want to be able to see. Um, it's important to do that because, again, uh, light helps you not fall down in the darkness. And the darkness uh, shall never overcome the light, so that's always good to, to have. So if we come back here and we take a look at the bongos, actually we're not going to go back there. We're going to head over here and take a look at the sinks because sinks, um, that's where water goes and you need that to live. There's some chocolate bars on the pool table. Uh, we went for like a Willy Wonka style um, thing here, and so that's why we put chocolate bars there, um, because in order to eat 
food chocolate should follow um, because it tastes pretty good. So if we go here to the creative arts room, let's take a look in here. There's a black box on the wall. That's good if you want to um, put something on the wall. And then there's some envelopes over there on the wall. That's always nice. And there's some vanilla wafers and some chocolate wafers on that wall, which is always good. So again, uh, Mr. Wonka really wants to make sure that this place is inviting and friendly. And so we decided uh, wafers were a good way to go. So if we move into this room, we can see some iron doors. Again, very heavy. Not really worth trying to open without... Um, like uh, Chuck Norris. So if we go down here, the basement, it's pretty dark and scary, but basements um, are supposed to be because that's where we keep all the monsters. We also have a fallen tree, which is helpful for if you ever need lumber or if you're ever trying to build a church, then you need something to build it with. You also need people and you need Jesus. So um, in here, this is the sound booth room. We've got an iron brick out here. Just It's like a, a door stop. It's very effective at stopping doors, and so that's why we put it there. We also got some black wool hanging in the center of that room, which is good if you have an itch and you need to scratch it because wool is good at that. So if we keep moving here, we're going to fly around because flying's good, and then we're going to come to the top of the stage here. There's some birch up trees up there. Birch is a pretty, pretty tree, and so we really want to have those. Um, but who cares about that? So let's fly into the main sanctuary. Uh, this is good. This is where the Holy Ghost comes and he dwells within us. I mean, he says that he'll be with us forever and always. Um, but, you know, he's more present here sometimes, which is always good. And if you don't have him, then you should probably get him because he's kind of pretty awesome and he's good. And so there's some gifts on the stage, but that's not kind of like those wrapped gifts. Those are sort of like uh, Holy Spirit gifts. And again, you need the ghost in order to get those. So you should probably have him because he's like top tier number one. Okay, so so if we go back here, uh, we're going to go in this room. This is where we put the green chairs because uh, you can't have enough of those. We got a lot of them here and it's important to have a place to sit. And so uh, that's why we have them. Uh, so let's fly over here to this fence. This is where we herd the sheep. Uh, you see Jesus is the gate and the way and the shepherd and you need a place to put the gate in order to, uh, you know, flock the sheep. So we're going to come into the men's room. The men's room is probably the coolest place in all the places because that's where you can pee and that's always nice. Uh, we're going to go into the women's room but not very long because it's not right and so we're going to run out of here as soon as we can so we don't get seen. Okay, so now that we're out of here, let's fly into the baby cage. This is where we keep all of the infants and the toddlers because uh, they typically get drool everywhere and we ran out of don't slip on the floor signs and so uh, there's a horse as well. Um, we ran out of those and so we can't have them drooling everywhere so we have to cage them here which is helpful. Um, also they always want to eat and they cry and so we put them in. Now we have the slightly older um, baby cages. This is where once babies get too uh, smart to um, be held in the easy cage, you go to this intermediate cage and uh, you put them in there and um, that's always nice to have. Um, so that's why we have that there. So if we fly on out of here, um, I think we've seen the cage. Uh, you know what, let's stay in here a little bit. Let's talk about the gray wool carpet. Again, very nice, very warm. Okay, so now we're out of here. So let's go in here, and it's a good place. This is where we keep the chocolate s'mores. As you can see, we've smushed them together here. Um, this is, we try to keep them in bulk quantity because if you sell them in bulk, you get more bang for your buck, um, and people like that. So, um, so again, more s'mores. That's important to have. Um, it's a good thing, um, especially around Christmas time when people are in a giving mood. They come in here and um, they've already given their 10% their tithes, and so the 11th percent is the s'more, the s'more fund. Um, so now we're going to go in the warp pipe. This is what Mario um, does on a daily basis. So it's kind of nice you get to simulate his job. So we can come in here. There's some concrete ceilings, which are pretty heavy. 
um, but the goal is to, uh, this is like a weight lifting room too, so when the ceiling falls down, because it's heavy, you can push it back up, and that makes you strong, and so that's why that's here. We got some more s'mores in here, but they're oriented a little differently. Um, more s'more storage, it's good to have that because um, it, it tastes good and we need sweets, so. Um, there's some pop behind the counter there, which is nice to have uh, with the s'mores, and so that's what that is. And uh, if we come in here, ooh, look at those three buttons. Oh, that's always good. All right, all right, all right. So yeah, we're just gonna keep uh, admiring these s'more rooms because um, there's there's a lot to love about it. So. Um, it's important. Um, it's good. That's that's great. So we're gonna come in here. There's a there's a few paintings here. That's um, Da Vinci's studio. He goes in there from time to time, but he's been dead for some time. But we're, we we don't have the heart to change it, so we just left it the way it was. Okay, so we got some more s'mores in there. That's always helpful to have. Um, we, this is where we keep the mannequins. It's always good to have those. We only got four left right now because we had to use them. Um, for some covert operations uh, in the past. So if we come up here to the stairs, um, those are for stepping. Um, and we've got the birch trees again. Um, that's always good. We just want to admire those. So that's why we uh, that's why we went back there. So we're gonna go back into the warp pipe. Um, this is helpful from getting from dungeon to dungeon. There's typically Goombas down here, um, but the turtles, once you step on top of those and hit it, it kills them. And so the last time someone was in here, they actually slipped and fell on a shell and it hit and killed all the Goombas. So that's why there's none there. So if we keep going this way, uh, we're gonna go back out front um, because it's it's a little warm inside, and so it's, we want it's chilly out here, and so we want to be out here. There's a giant doghouse out there on the left. That's where we keep Clifford. He is typically in, but it looks like he's he's away. Um, so there's some fountains back here. You can get some pretty good water. It's not exactly living water, which is like the be the better water, and when you drink it, you'll never thirst. So that's way better than this water, um, but I can't give you that water, only one can, and that's Christ. So you should probably have him, because if you don't, well, you're kind of missing out. So it, there's a fire pit down there, that's good for staying toasty. And then if we get down here on the dirt, um, that's where we keep the worms, because they need to eat the dirt so that they can poop and then make some more dirt. So there's the fireplace again, and that is again toasty. And if we come back here, we got the cobweb and the giant flat screen TV. Uh, that's always nice. Okay, so I think we've seen everything. So let me know if you're interested. Um, my number's here, it's at the beginning. Uh, you can email me, give me a call. Um, I'm actually not going to sell this to you because um, I know I gave you a price, but it's not actually for sale and I lied. So you can't buy this. Bonus points for the cross on the top and thanks for coming guys. Have a good one.